What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Knights TV. I'm your host, Kyle Gamard. Now, it was a busy last couple of weeks for the London Knights as they played five games over that stretch. There's lots to get to, so let's get right into it. Now, London unfortunately dropped their first game a couple weeks back, 4-2 to the Windsor Spitfires. It was a very special night, however, as it was all in support of the Dream of Lottery and the Children's Hospital. The Knights made donations over the course of the night and auctioned off some of the players' game-worn jerseys. Really amazing that London was able to do that for the last couple of years. Now, London did get goals in this game from Liam Foody and Jonathan Gruden, and Jordan Coy got the start in this contest. He made 30 saves. It didn't take long for the London Knights to get back into the win column, doubling up the Kingston Frontenacs by a score of 6-3. Now there was one major story that everybody was talking about after the contest, and it came in the wake of a very anticipated first career Ontario Hockey League goal. Of the puck and now sets up Skinner with a hard shot. That's blocked. Pick Michael in the rebound. Scores! Luke Evangelista! His first in the OHL! Luke Evangelista getting the gorilla off of his back, scoring his first career Ontario Hockey League goal, and the kid wasn't done there. He went on to score his second and third of the game and of the season, while also adding an assist for a huge four-point explosion in the game. And I talked to him afterwards, he could not be happier. Yeah, I had a feeling once I got one, like they were just all gonna come. So uh, I wasn't really surprised at that, like once I got the first and they all came, but uh, it feels really good, obviously, to finally get that monkey off the back. Conor McMichael had a big game netting a goal and two assists, while Nathan Dunkley also had a goal and assist in the victory. And the Knights continued with their winning ways to kick off the following weekend with a big 5-1 win over the Saginaw Spirit. And with the game tied at one, Billy Moskal scored his first goal of the season to give London a 2-1 lead. They never looked back after that, scoring three more goals to take it 5-1. Conor McMichael scored two in this contest, and it was the usual suspects afterwards. Liam Foody and Josh Nelson also added goals. Brett Brochu got the start, making 25 saves for his fifth win of the season so far. Now, London was on the road the following game in Erie to take on the Otters. In the second period, Antonio Strange scored two goals in a matter of 31 seconds to bring the Knights down 4-2 to tied at four. The Knights also had five players in this game, including Strange, who had multiple efforts. Unfortunately, the Knights dropped this decision 6-5 in the shootout. Now, the Knights capped off their three-game set weekend with a big 6-2 win against the Niagara Ice Dogs. Now, the previous weekend, Luke Evangelista had himself a game netting himself, not just his first career goal, but a first career hat trick. And, well, Sunday, he was right back at it. Trying to get around the fender. Spinning, passing, it's loose in front, and it's in the net! Luke Evangelista with his second of the afternoon. It's 3-0 Knights. With that two goal effort on Sunday, Luke Evangelista now has five goals over his last four games and 10 points total over his last five. And after the game, he said a lot of it has to do with confidence. Yeah, I think so. I mean, confidence is huge in this league. So to get that first one, like it obviously gave me a huge boost. Uh, not only confidence, but adrenaline too. So I was just going the whole game after that. Now you've probably noticed the theme throughout this episode, and that's because we keep bringing up the name Connor McMichael. Well, there's good reason. Over this past five games, he has 12 points in that span. He is showing why Washington took him with their first round pick in this past year's draft. Now, a few other notable names in this one. Liam Foody had a couple more points. He's been great ever since he's come back into the lineup. Ryan Merkley had a goal and assist, and Hunter Skinner scored his third of the season while also adding an assist. And we talked to him afterwards about how he's enjoyed London so far. This was a great night, you know, oh, afternoon, Not my bad, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it was, uh, we had to bear down, you know, this was three, three games in three days, pretty hard, so a bunch of young guys too, you know, just got to recover. I feel pretty good right now, <laughs> not, not too bad, but just excited we got the win. London went 3-1-1 one, one over their past five games, including taking five of a possible six points this past weekend. And the Western Conference is tight too, with nine points separating first from last place. And London has games in hand too, so hopefully they're going to be able to take advantage of those moving forward. London's going to rotate playing games at home and on the road over the next four, starting this Friday against the Erie Otters, followed by a road matchup on Sunday against the league-leading Oshawa Generals. They'll then return home the following Friday to take on the North Bay Battalion and finish off on the road against the Owen Sound Attack. For Knights TV, I'm Kyle Gamard.